now that I am older and wiser, <laughs> I'm saying to you guys, negotiate, 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 my fate, my fate to negotiate. Okay, my first year in China, I was just like, whatever, I am. It's Mesh MC from a small town to the world. Mesh What's up, guys? It's your girl Mesh MC. Welcome back to my channel. So, guys, if you are if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much, guys, for sticking around and um, watching my videos all the time. And uh, if you're new to this, please make sure you subscribe and make this your new home, because this is your new home, baby. If you haven't watched my um, get it, finding a job in China video, please make sure that you do check it out. I will leave uh, the link so that you do check it out and just be on the line of what we're talking about. Because today's video, I'm just going to continue uh, from the last thing that we talked about. And I'm just going to, just to recap, we talked about finding a, um, a job in China. And then we said that the only, uh, the first thing that you need for you to find a job in China is to have a degree you, you need a bachelor's degree for you to find a job to get a job in china once you have a, once you have a degree then the next steps are just very see i just are really easy uh because it's mainly to out and just how to authenticate your document and that is what we'll be talking about today how to authenticate your document for you to get that job abroad and say bye i'm going to china uh so um, you have a bachelor's degree, you have a TEFL certificate, uh, you're done with the TEFL certificate and also uh, you've started applying for that PCC. PCC is a police clearance certificate. Uh, I'm saying start to apply for that because it takes forever, especially if you are far from um, Pretoria, you know, like Limpopo for example, it takes forever. I don't know about where you are in other countries, but yeah. So I think sometimes it's important for you to apply early because it might take a month or two um depending on where you are of course so uh the next step is just uh on how to authenticate your documents uh so the first thing you have to do is to go to the department of education with your um original certificate uh your degree and uh make a copy they need a copy as well so you make a copy of your origin original uh, certificate and then go to Department of Education to um, authenticate your certificate so what you go what you do is that just to get a signature and say yeah we know it we have it in our system you know it's not a fake certificate so yeah good uh, so I did say in my previous video that if you feel like this is just too much thing to do because they like sometimes you have to wait for the documents to come back before you, you proceed to the next step so if you are far from Pretoria or far from um, Deco and the embassy what you can do is you can just find an agent that you can use to uh, to do all things for you all you have to do is just to pay and then they'll do everything for you and surprisingly it's very fast because those people that have connections you know connections but if you feel like you're very close and or maybe you can just go to the place and stay there for like a week or two uh i suggest you just go and do it yourself because it is much is it's just really easy you know um because the places are, like, are not like really far i did mine in pretoria and most of the in most cases you find that they're not like really far from each other so you can just do that uh, the only downfall is that when you take your documents to deco you might have to wait a few days before you get them back and then you have to take them to uh the embassy and you might have to wait again a few days before you get them back like five days or so so that's what i'm saying that it's not like something that you can just do in one day you have to be there for like a week or two for you to just get all your documents and then finish but Another option for you, if you can't, is to hire an agent to do the to do the work for you. All you have to do is just t, ching ching pay. So you go to the Department of Education, uh, authenticate your document, and then you go to Deco. Deco is the Department of International Relations Cooperation. Uh, and then after that, what you have to do is to take your, all the documents that you got from um, Deco to the embassy of where you're going like if you're going to china then you have to find a chinese embassy if you're going to south korea you have to find south korean embassy 
right if you go into america you have to find an american embassy <laughs> i mean it's that simple yeah and then after that you have to wait for five days to get your documents back but let me tell you what i did so i had to go back uh, on that day uh because i did that myself so i i asked one of the guards to collect the documents for me and then send them um uh, via korea you can just ask someone in pretoria to get their documents for you what they need is you need to give them a receipt that they can use to collect the documents from uh the embassy and then they can send them to you and get them in like a three days or so and voila you don't have to pay more for transport to go back uh, once you have all that trust me you might it was might as well just start picking your bags and say you know what i am living because that is it that's it that's it that's it you're done you're done well i wouldn't really advise you to start authenticating your documents before finding a job most people will say that uh it's easier to get a job when you already have all your documents ready you know blah 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 blah, blah. but the authenticating process takes only a week okay or two it doesn't take like months like the pcc uh and they expire in six months why, why i'm saying that is because i know people who applied to get a job in china so they did everything uh before getting a job like um authenticating your documents and the likes uh and when it comes to getting a job in china you find that it's not easy to just get a job like you are you have those interviews and then they're still rejecting you and remember those are uh, documents they expire in six months so uh you keep trying you keep trying and the next thing is six months you have to redo the whole process again and then pay more money again because you know you did everything before finding a job and then you're struggling to find a job trust me you might think that getting a job in china is so easy as long as you have a degree but that's not the case i know of people uh who did um apply like so many times but they still couldn't find a job they could they still couldn't get a job they tried they spoke to agents but they were still rejected for so many reasons authenticating process it doesn't takes for it doesn't take forever it's only a week or two so you might maybe just to be safe unless if you show that you know what i am going to get this job uh, and another important thing is that please never just never in your life reject an interview okay just never even if you don't want that job even if like the offer is not good you're not doing it for that you're doing it for yourself especially if you have never had uh, an, an interview before an online interview before the more you do interviews is the more you gain experience and know what is expected and get used to those questions that be ready and rocking to say you know what i know what i'm talking about okay like with confidence and all so never say no to an interview never uh and the last thing i'm going to talk about is negotiate my fate my fate to negotiate okay my first year in china i was just like whatever i am going i didn't even try to negotiate they just gave me a contract and say this is what we're having this is what we're offering this is what you're doing and i was like okay it's fine now that i am older and wiser <laughs> i'm saying to you guys negotiate negotiate it's possible it's possible yes obviously you can expect like to get forty thousand on your first year i mean that's just kind of like crazy but it is possible it is possible i can't wait to see you all in china <laughs> of course with my agent uh with my help i will help you to get that dream job in china it's a dream job trust me because you can get a good pay and also you are living abroad so come through come join us say um thank you so much guys for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also share my videos because every time you do that that helps me and my channel to grow spread love spread joy because the world needs love and a beautiful smile <laughs>